You have to understand that rock stars are like avocados. When that moment of perfect ripeness comes, they are, by definition, doomed. Lillian mattered. She was made to love things. Lillian was a very big promoter of glam rock. She was a real pusher of Iggy and Alice and Lou Reed and the Velvet Underground and people like that. Lillian and I had a good deal in common. Both writers, and that means living in a state of constant dissatisfaction. Both asthmatic. Both intolerant of ourselves as much as anything else. She had a marvellous combination of innocence and absolute knowingness. She looked like a Botticelli angel who just finished giving King Kong a blowjob. Lillian Roxon lived a life that burned bright. A brilliant music writer, funny, bitchy, and 30 years ahead of her times. Born liberated, she understood first how music could change the world. A little doll I can't forget. In 1973, she saw Iggy Pop and the Stooges play at her hangout in New York. Iggy Pop was aggressive, pugnacious, throwing the songs at his audience as if he were throwing punches. Rock and roll is not dead, she declared, but only just beginning to happen in a new way. Within days of writing these prophetic words, she was dead. But her predictions and her influence went on to be gigantic. Come on, shake, 